Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org, and today we are going to do a water unit study. We are using Earth and Space by Bright Ideas Press, and there are four chapters about the hydrosphere, which is water uh, and the study of water. Uh, so, the first activity that we did for the study of water is to learn about uh, the water cycle. And so, in the book, you have this diagram of the water cycle and how it evaporates, water evaporates condenses and then rains with precipitation on the earth and so my kids um, colored and labeled uh, the water cycle and then what you do is you go to a park on a slide and you uh, climb up the uh, uh, the first part of it the the ladder and that is like evaporation and then condensation as you are on the top and then you go down the slide as precipitation. Well, since it's freezing cold and it was uh, snow on the ground during the time that we filmed this, uh, we uh, modified by having a chair. So you can put a chair and have your kids get up onto the chair and then be a cloud and then rain or snow or have precipitation on the other side of the chair. Take a look at this fun activity. This is the water cycle or the hydrologic cycle. The sun shines down on the water droplets and they evaporate upward. And as they evaporate upward, they form into clouds. So we have condensation and then it is precipitation in the form of rain okay and then we have more evaporation more cloud formation and condensation and then we have the rain in precipitation okay now it's gotten colder and we have the evaporation we have cloud formation and now it's gonna start snowing snow 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 Another batch of snow is coming in, a cold front and a cloud, and then it starts snowing. Fabulous. Next, we are going to have a thunderstorm. We evaporate upward and form clouds, and the clouds are ominous and huge, huge, dark clouds. And we have a tornado forming. Okay, tornado with lots of rain and sleet and hail. And we have another evaporation, another huge cumulonimbus cloud falling downward in a tornado formation. And here is precipitation. Uh, which is part of the water cycle and it is snow falling from the sky that sinks into the earth and becomes groundwater and also evaporates back up into the air and becomes clouds where it can snow down again or rain. So here's the water cycle in action. Oceans cover the vast majority of Earth, so we have it covered in water. So studying the oceans is a super fun thing to do. Uh, we spent a year studying oceans and ocean creatures one time, uh, and so I recommend doing that. Uh, but while you're just studying water in general, um, ocean currents are very interesting. Uh, one activity that we did uh, it, that was discussed in the book is the uh, currents of the ocean and so you're supposed to go outside with some chalk and draw a large clock okay and then you're supposed to walk according to the ocean currents and you go clockwise for the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise for the southern hemisphere so you walk around that clock and so uh, we modified that activity and um, what we did is put masking tape on the floor in the shape of a clock and then I have my daughter uh, walking around clockwise and then counterclockwise. Take a look at our ocean currents activity. Here we have a clock that we have taped onto the floor with masking tape and so Rachel go on to the 12 and the northern hemisphere goes uh, clockwise in its ocean current. So go ahead and walk around clockwise. So this is the way that the ocean currents go in the northern hemisphere. Now stop on the 12 and now the southern hemisphere goes counterclockwise. So the ocean currents go counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Thank you for your illustration, Rach. 
You can study the three different states of matter, uh, solid, liquid, and gas, uh, by putting ice cubes into a pot, and then you have a solid, and then it becomes liquid as it's warmed up in room temperature uh, as water itself, and then as you heat it up, that water becomes gas, and so you have solid, liquid, and gas. Now, uh, solid is ice, and we studied glaciers as part of our um, book study in Earth and Space, and the experiment in the book had us um, put uh, two glasses of water, you put water into the two glasses and freeze them, and one of the glasses you put dirt into that glass uh, before you freeze it. Uh, take a look at this activity. Here are the ice glaciers, and what my husband did to make it better was he took out the blender and he put some ice into it and swished it all up and then um, stirred the dirt into one of them and the other uh, without dirt. So here we have the race and um, we made a ramp and we have a ruler on the ramp to see which glacier wins this race. Of course, it takes many, many hours because glaciers are very, very slow. So here we go in our the beginning of our race. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen, they're off. Here we are after two hours and the ice that does not have dirt in it is much further ahead by a looks like at least um <laughs> let's see from the front of one to the front of another is about three let's see one two three yes three inches difference so the ice goes a lot faster than the um, dirt and it's the same way with glaciers uh, glaciers move more slowly when they pick up dirt and they erode the land and scrape the land and they have they leave a dirt trail as you can see behind here there's a dirt trail and here we are after four whole entire hours we have the ice without the dirt winning and the dirt taking forever to come down the path but as you see it has a more of a streak behind it of the scraped um, dirt and mud that it's trailing behind and it's now seven inches ahead the ice with no um, mud in it so here you go ladies and gentlemen the ice wins the race you can do further study on water by going to the library and getting books out uh, that illustrate the different um, activities that you can do with water, different experiments with water. Uh, learn everything that you can about water because water is vital for life. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching the Water Unit Study.